Do you live in Jacksonville, Mississippi? Well, if you do, you may want to pay attention to this one. You know how police have this whole history and raison d'etre of completely ignoring your rights as human beings and the Constitution, that thing that they swore to uphold? Well, it, 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 it's starting to look a lot worse in Missouri. Now, particularly Jacksonville, Mississippi. You see, you know those... Uh, those door cameras that Amazon sells you to watch your package because a lot of people steal packages like crazy because they're dicks. Now, it turns out that Amazon is now running a trial program with the police in Jacksonville to give the police 24-hour access to those cameras anytime they want, any day. Now, you can say... Hey, I don't want to be a part of this program, and you can't use my camera to spy on my neighbors. That's great. See, the thing is, your camera, your neighbor's camera is pointing at you. And essentially, this is them creating like almost a totalitarian London-type state where there's a security camera, CCTV camera, everywhere watching everyone. So, I mean, it would be one thing if you said, you know what, I don't want to use my camera for that, so, you know, use somebody else's. Except the camera's still on your property, you know what I mean? That kind of invasion of privacy kind of thing. Like, even if even if it's not even your camera. I mean, you, you, you get exactly where I'm, I'm, where I'm going with this. Now, Jacksonville already basically rejected the idea of, of police using facial recognition systems to just be able to just track your face anytime you're outside in public because apparently you're a criminal and need to be tracked to 24 hours a day, you know, even though you literally didn't do anything. I don't really have to argue against the police state to you, my viewers, but it, it's, it's important to, to really go over that. Now, obviously, this is a violation of privacy, and I don't really feel like the government putting a camera on me 24 hours a day. I mean, besides, I already have one of these running on me every single day anyway. But I digress. Now, what, what I really, what I really kind of respect about this is, is the ingenuity of it. So you're getting that camera on every corner, watching everybody all the time. And not only did the state not have to pay for the cameras, they didn't even have to convince anybody to install them. Like, they didn't even have to go to the government and say, hey, can I put cameras everywhere all the time? They got people to do it voluntarily. And not only did they get it voluntarily, they got people to pay for it themselves. I mean, this is one of the best infrastructure programs that, you know, frankly, I've ever seen. When you get people to pay for their own spying on them. And not even like just using their tax money and not telling them about it. But having them pay out of pocket and then handing over the access to you. I mean, I, I really firmly detest the term sheeple. Because it's... it's it's, it's, it's a very cringy word to use because it's used by very cringy people. But in this case, it really does kind of fit. Now, the point of this video is to let you know that this program is going on. So that you, particularly if you live in Jacksonville, Mississippi, can go to your city and say, please don't spy on me. I didn't do a goddamn thing. Please don't do this. For whatever that will get you. But keep in mind, if they're running a pilot project in Mississippi, it's Mississippi, not Missouri. I know I've said Missouri a couple of times, but it's Mississippi. They're going to do it other places too. I mean, they're not going to limit, you know, you need a larger size, uh, sample size for a program like this to see if it's worth instituting. So just keep your eyes open. And maybe as, as much as it's awful to have people steal your packages, you may not want to install, like, what is literally a police spying device in your own front door. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, 
comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.